Award-winning documentary, Free China, The Courage to Believe, was screened on Friday at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. NTD co-produced Free China with acclaimed film director Michael Perlman. It follows the story of Jennifer Tiang and Charles Lee, both persecuted by the Chinese regime for refusing to give up their beliefs. Shernel Smith, who works at Carnegie Mellon, was saddened by the film, but also inspired. It is something that is horrible to witness, but what I think was very powerful is the, is the fact that communication and meaningful dialogue and how that's breaking through the bounds of what's going on there uh, and the at impact of technology and breaking down those barriers so that information and freedom to information is vital. Tiang and Lee both practice Falun Gong. It's a spiritual practice based on the principles of truth, compassion, and tolerance. During their time in Chinese labor camps and prisons, they were tortured, both physically and mentally. They were also forced into making cheap goods for export. One student was amazed that anyone could oppose such a peaceful practice like Falun Gong. The whole concept of Falun Gong is about peace and tolerance and at the very opposite level, someone's opposing that. It's such a righteous thought that I, you think, how can you oppose something like that? The documentary also reveals one of the most serious allegations against the Chinese regime. The Communist Party is accused of killing detained Falun Gong practitioners for organs as far back as 2006. Pittsburgh is home to one of the world's leading organ transplant institutes. After the film screening, doctors and human rights activists discussed with the audience about the forced organ harvesting claims. Our only wish is to speak out the truth and let other people know what is Falun Gong and what is currently going on in China. Let's abandon our fantasy about the CCP. Also, we must raise our consciousness, not only us, but also raise thousands of millions of people's consciousnesses. Free China has won several film awards, including the 2012 inaugural Free Speech Film Festival Award in the U.S. The film is slated for a public release on June 4, 2013.